April for now. Well, it's an understatement to say most employees and the companies they work for, large and small, are on edge. Yet yeah, tonight, some business owners are trying any way possible to make it through this unprecedented situation. CBS 4's David Sada is live for us in Doral with details. David. Yeah, there are two schools of thought here. Either this virus and this quarantine epidemic that's happening here is going to shut your business down or it's going to make you stronger. Regardless of whether you're a big company like Carnival or a three-person small business operation, that decision is not easy to deal with. My staffing option is um, we will end up laying off the, the employees that we have. Jeff Condon has had a challenging few weeks. The coronavirus has slashed his business by two thirds. It's just a matter of time, as he sees it, before local or state government shuts his doors as part of the quarantine. We are a cash flow business, so my business survives on my ability to generate revenue. Condon is not alone. Corporate attorney Brett Tremblay's phone has been ringing all day with companies trying to figure out how to close their doors temporarily or for good. We've had quite a few clients in the travel and um, hospitality industries go from profitable to within a matter of three days being essentially revenue is at zero and they've had to shut their doors. Tremblay is advising companies to look into furloughs instead of layoffs. It means no pay for employees, but when the dust settles, they still have a job. A lot of times employees are able to keep benefits and sometimes they're not. Sometimes they can even apply and qualify for unemployment, but each particular situation is different. The government is getting involved as well. The House passed a bill over the weekend that could have dramatic effects on employees. It makes coronavirus tests free, helps feed the poor, sets up sick and family leave time for employees. Employees may see up to 12 weeks of paid leave if they or someone in their household has the virus. All of it gets paid by employers up front, but the government will reimburse companies with tax credits. Mark Weinstein is the director of Human Resources Program at Florida International University. He sees the government's plan as innovative and not done yet. You'll likely see waves of programs over the next year. We only have you know, so many, if you will, policy solutions, and, and we have to be careful on how we roll them out. We don't want to sort of, you know, spend all our money and all our efforts, you know, and still find later that we have unmet needs. Condon is already looking at federally backed small business loans. He's considering if he's going to be closed, why not pursue a growth opportunity to expand his business? So if I don't make a bold move and expand in this time, it's how do I make it where I can come out of it and still be strong? So it's, there's no question we're going to come out of it. We're advising the best thing you can do is manage your cash flow. There's a few local uh, travel industries that are affected almost overnight. But for the rest of us, it's going to be a slower realized effect. And we don't know if it's going to last weeks or months. And looking at this bill, it's now stalled in the Senate. One hopes that they resolve this soon. Florida's governor also did make an announcement today that the state will start offering bridge loans to small businesses. These are typically up to $50,000. They're about a year term at 0% interest. Typically, they are used to cover cash problems where you're having cash flow issues. However, you usually see this after a hurricane, sort of a response to a natural disaster. In Doral, David Soto, CBS 4 News, tonight. David, thank you. And if you have questions,